Hi, my name is Hillary. I'm one of the veterinary technicians at the Veterinary Dermatology Center. Hopefully you've already watched the video on uh, the allergy vaccine schedule. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw up the vaccine and administer it. This is Dakota and she's gonna help us show you how to give an injection today. So drawing up your vaccine, you'll have your three little glass vials. I strongly recommend you draw up your vaccine, put it away in the refrigerator, and then call your dog over to give the vaccine. The last thing you want is your glass vial sitting on the edge of the table. Things get a little exciting and you knock it over. So actually drawing it up, you're going to take the lid off of the needle. You're going to stick it in the top of the rubber vial and turn it upside down. And then I like to kind of overdraw and then push it back up to where I want to actually get. So for example, this is 0.1 milliliters on your syringe. While you're waiting to do your vaccine, if you'd like to recap your needle, do the single-handed method. Lay your lid flat on a surface. Use one hand to cover the point of the needle, and then you can use your other hand to finish capping it. The reason we recommend this is to try to cap it like this. You may accidentally poke yourself, and that really hurts. Um, so now that we're ready to give an injection, we're going to call our pet over. We discussed in the last video about not doing the vaccine right around a major meal, um, but we wanna make sure you have treats ready, particularly approved treats if your dog's on a food trial. Um, and you wanna have them ready to go because we want this to be a positive, rewarding experience for your pet. So when actually giving the injection, what you're going to do is you are going to pull off the cap, have your finger on the plunger ready to go. Don't push it down too hard before you're ready to administer it so you don't expel the liquid before you're ready. And then what you're going to do is use the area on the back of the neck and between the shoulder blades. This is a great place to pinch up skin. And you'll see when you pinch up the skin right here, that doesn't hurt your dog. And that you get kind of a nice little pocket here. And if you stick your finger in there, you'll feel exactly where we're gonna want to go. So I've got my finger on the plunger ready to go. I'm going to stick it in until I feel it stop. And then with nice even pressure, push down on the liquid. And then reward lavishly because Dakota's a good girl. Yes, she is. So a couple things to consider when you give a vaccine injection. You've got all this space that you're working with, so randomize where you give it. You can go up, you can go to the left, you can go to the right. Some dogs even have some extra skin back on their hips. These are all great places to use to give subcutaneous injections. And randomize where you give, because that way you won't accidentally re-poke in the same spot you've been previously poking. Normally these vaccines are not gonna hurt them, but if you keep poking in the same spot, that might start to hurt. And then another consideration is you want to say very positive and rewarding. If your pet squeals while you're giving the vaccine, you say, oh, Dakota, what a good girl, what a great girl, and you give her a cookie, and then she will get, be positive and stay positive with you. Okay, mom's not scared, I'm not scared, so that's great. However, if your dog squeals and you say, oh no, Dakota, oh my gosh, then Dakota will freak out with you, and it'll be this really scary thing that you guys have to do together once a week. Um, so that is the video on how to give a vaccine injection. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about how things are going, we are always happy to help you by phone. So please give us a call. Thank you.